Okay, let's go ahead and set up our application space here first. And we'll get it ready for our coding. So I've just started a new application here. I've named it PhoneBook. And I've set the dimensions to 300 pixels wide by 400 pixels tall. But you can use any arrangement you like. I'm going to go ahead and create some interest on the background of the page here by setting it to be a gradient. And I'm just going to run it from yellow to orange, I guess. There we go. I'll press OK. And that looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and set up what our workspace here. We're going to need a couple of different things. Basically, we're going to have a very simple phone book where we can add or delete entries from it. So let's go ahead and add a list box first by clicking on our new list box object icon. I'm going to press OK and I'm just going to set this out on our stage here. I'm going to just size it up by eye. That should be somewhere about there should be good. Then we're going to need a couple of input objects. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new input object and press OK. And I'm just going to line that up roughly here with our list box and then press Control D and then line up the duplicate copy with that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just shrink our list box a bit and bring these up a little and we should be ready to go. Now we're going to need a couple of buttons. In this particular case I'm going to use label objects and so I'm going to click on the new label object icon and this first one I'm going to name it add and press OK. I'm just going to go ahead and bring that down here and I'm going to press Control D to create a duplicate and the second one I'm going to double click on it and in the object text area here I'm going to rename it delete. Press OK. Now let's go ahead and align our objects. We'll just set it up maybe a little bit shorter here on the list box. I'm going to select all three of these objects by dragging around them and from my alignment palette here I'm going to choose the center align and then I'm also going to choose the evenly distribute. I'm going to press Control D to group them. I'm going to click align to page here and I'm going to go ahead and press the center align so we know they're nice and centered on our page. It only takes a sec and it kind of creates a little more evenness in your application. Again here I'm going to select the add and delete buttons and I'm going to go ahead and select deselect align to page and choose the center vertical here. Then I'm going to press control G select align to page and center align them. So that's pretty good. We're ready to go. Maybe I'll shift this over a little bit. There we go. Alright so that's our application space. Now let's go ahead and name our objects. I'm going to click on my list box here and Actually, I'll double click it and we'll do it in the attributes panel where it says object name here. I'm just going to name it list, all lowercase. I'll press OK and I'm going to do the same thing for these next two objects. So I'm going to double click onto the input object and in the attributes area here, I'm going to name this first one name. Press OK. I'll do the same for the second one, but this time I'm going to call it number. OK, so we've got that set up. And for our labels, I'm going to go ahead and name these in the properties palette over here. So I'm going to name this one add. I'm going to click on the delete button and I'm going to name it delete. Okay, we're set up. We're ready to go. I'm going to press on the save icon here so that our project is saved. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can start adding code to this to interact with our database. But basically, you can see the shape that it's starting to take. Whenever we run this application, it's going to retrieve all the current, currently uh, entered numbers in our database and display them here in this list box. And then you can go ahead and select one of those and press the delete button in order to delete that entry. Then for the, the adding functionality, you can go ahead and type your name and number here into these input objects and press the add button and that'll add it to the database. Okay, so let's go ahead on to the next tutorial.